So far we're doing pretty good. We're not done yet, but uh, take a look at that. Good morning or good afternoon everybody. Welcome to the channel if you are not new to it. My name is Polly, your weird host. I haven't been able to get out lately at all because I've just been so busy. I was able to get out the other day, but the footage I was filming with, sorry, the GoPro I was filming with, left me with some footage. So I had to scratch that video all together. So today is take two. I try to make you guys a good video. Let me get suited up and let's begin. Now these crafts may not look very big, but it does not take much at all to hide gold. What I'm doing here is just lightly fanning the sand off what looks to be decomposing bedrock. And what appears to be little specks of gold are actually little specks of white rocks. You can easily tell the difference in person. Typically, you're only going to find flood gold, but occasionally you will find the bigger piece by doing this. And if you find garbage, do your part and pick it up. These small cracks in the bedrock are often overlooked. It's for that reason they can accumulate so much gold. Unfortunately, I don't have the tools to open up this one, but I'm still finding the flood gold. Now this spot was under a huge rock. These are my favorite places to look because everything underneath them hasn't moved in a long time. Although not very bright on camera, it sure lets you know in person. And sometimes you will see a piece sitting there that you didn't even have to work for. So I've just decided to uh, step out of the water for a few minutes, go to the washroom, have a snack, go to the washroom, and have another snack. <laughs> so far we're doing pretty good. We're not done yet, but uh, take a look at that. Another picker right there. We're doing really well. And again, we're not done yet. It sounds like uh, I have a stuffy nose, because I do. For some reason, when I'm in the water, I get all stuffed up. But yeah, let's get back to it after I pee and have a snack.
found a nice section of bedrock where I could take my time passing new gravels through to make sure I got everything. Again, small cracks on the bedrock make great places for gold to hide. <laughs> Although this piece is flat, it sure looks bigger when you're underwater. Also, the tool that I'm using, I found while doing this. I noticed this large crack that extended across the entire river. After looking at this last pocket, I decided that it was time to head back up. Alright, I am officially out of the water for the rest of the day. And I'm hungry again, and also kind of cold. That was awesome, I had a good time. But let's talk about it in a sec, because I want to hurry up and get back. My hands are kind of numb. There we go. Let me just turn on the light and show you what we have cleaned out of the river. Of course, we found some garbage. It's expected when you're cleaning the river. And some pretty good gold. For four hours worth of work, that's not bad. I believe there's like four pickers in there. But let's dry this and weigh it. I want to weigh the little bits first for the pickers. 0 0.3. 0 0.33. 0.13. What's with all the threes? This one must be 0 0.03. 0.12. Now to weigh it all. One point one four grams. Awesome. I actually missed a piece. But whatever. So today was a fabulous day. We went outside, went swimming, cleaned up our rivers, and came out with some pretty good gold. If you enjoy what you see here, chances are you're going to enjoy what I have previously posted and what's coming up in the near future. If you enjoyed this video in particular, please let me know. Leave a like, share, comment, or even subscribe. Your subscriptions and your comments never go unnoticed. I'm just very slow to respond. So thank you for watching. And until next time, I will see you later. Good.